In this section, we are going to discuss two different feature of switches which basically used for security purpose like dynamic ARP inspection and IP source guard. So first of all, we are going to discuss about dynamic ARP inspection which basically used to prevent ARP poisoning inside your switch network. So let, let's say inside your network there is an attacker using gratuitous ARP in IP address of gateway as well as uh, MAC address of local device which is the attackers it reply or it send gratuitous ARP inside your network so network device is blindly going to send data to the gateway which is the attacker so actually it is not uh, the actual gateway but it is an attacker for example let's say this is the topology where we can understand a lot we have a router connected to the internet and IP address of uh, router is 1 and MAC address is A and currently we have a DSCP as well. So let's say DSCP assigned TCP IP setting to these clients. So what happen if client want to send data to the gateway? Because of DSCP your client come to know the IP address of gateway but don't know the layer 2 address which is MAC address of gateway. In order to get layer 2 address your client going to send a broadcast ARP request or a message inside network and then gateway going to reply back that this is my MAC address which is A. Now your client come to know the layer 2 address of gateway and as long as it functioning correctly, uh, correctly, there is no matter, there is no problem. But think about that way, if there is an attacker who sending a ARP, a gratuitous ARP using IP address of gateway and MAC address of attacker. So let's say MAC address is C and IP address 1. So attacker going to send a packet or more accurately you can say the gratuitous ARP which basically means client going to update their database rather than sending data to the MAC address A they are going to send data to MAC address C so that cause problem inside your network in order to prevent this problem we can use IP dynamic ARP inspection so basically dynamic ARP inspection uh, use IP DSCP snooping database to verify your MAC address is C and your IP address let, let's say 2. You are not owner of IP address 1, your IP address is 2. Likewise on other port, uh, your IP address is 3 and your MAC address let's say uh, D. So you only uh, reply using these addresses like your source address should be uh, IP address source IP address should be 3 and your source layer 2 address should be D not other one so because of that we required IP DSC, uh, DSCP snooping database so let's go through the documents that makes sense to understand so it inspect our request in respond it use DSCP snooping database to verify ARP request and respond. As I told you earlier, so whatever your MAC address and whatever your IP address is, basically it maintained by DSCP snooping database. So you should not, uh, you cannot advertise a fake MAC address or a fake IP address if we enable this feature. Likewise, uh, ARP ACL can also use for our request respond to static IP assigned devices. For example, in such case we can see these client uh, they get TCP IP setting from the DSCP but let's say client 3 they have configured their static IP address. Since uh, switch 3 or client 3 configure static IP address so there is no entry in IP DS, uh, DSCP snooping database. So by default it going to be denied if we enable uh, dynamic ARP inspection. So in case of allow such devices which has the static IP addresses assigned, we need to create a ARP ACL. In ARP ACL we going to 
specify who is allowed or what the source MAC address is going to be sent or receive ARP requests. As well as dynamic ARP, uh, dynamic ARP inspection is supported on access port, trunk port, Ethernet channel, and private VLAN port. So configuration is straightforward. First, we need to enable IP ARP inspection using VLAN and whatever VLAN number is. And then after we we also need to specify a particular interface as a trust interface like DSCP snooping. So in the previous section we have already discussed about DSCP snooping. So let's say there is another port going to connect with the internet or WAN. So this port should be a trusted port or this port should be a trusted port. They are supposed to uh, reply or respond our request and reply. So in case of that we need to make this interface as a trusted interface as I told you earlier like IP DSCP snooping. So let's play with the devices that make sense. Devices are up and working so let's play with it. Here I am going to use the previous topology and this is the router going to work as a DSCP server. In IP DSCP snooping I am going to configure on this switch. So first of all I am going to configure my DSCP router using this script gig0 slash 0 and IP address 1.1.1 and also going to create a pool. So let me copy this one as well as debugging and paste over my DSCP server which is this one. So paste on it. Likewise on switch we are going to enable snooping for VLAN number 1 and no uh, IP DSCP snooping information option and F0 slash 24 port which is the trusted port as well as for faster transition I am going to use port fast on on interfaces. So let me copy this one and paste over my switch. So everything is fine and currently working as we expected so far. So let's say we have a two router this one and this one. So we are going to implement this thing on it. So first of all interface gig0 slash 0 gate IP address from the DSCP and no shut down. Same thing on this router. So configure terminal interface gig0 slash 0 no shut down and IP address gate from the DSCP. Excuse me. Hopefully they are going to get TCP IP settings from the server as we can see. And currently they can also ping to the server or which is also working as a gateway for us, obviously. Likewise on this device, if we check the database on this switch, so IP DSCP snooping then binding, we can see these are the MAC address and these are the IP address, they uh, belong to the corresponding port which is gigabit 1 and 2. So let's say what happened if any person going to change their MAC address. So basic, uh, before going to change the MAC address, I would like to explain a little bit more about Gratuitous R. So Gratuitous R basically used to update ARP cache. So what happened your device actually maintain a ARP cache. So let's say currently my uh, MAC address is A. If somehow I change my MAC address, Immediately I am going to send an update to all devices that my IP address is 1 and my ARP address is A. So the client are not going to generate any ARP request, even then I am going to send uh, the this information which is also known as Gratuitous ARP. So hopefully you know Gratuitous ARP. So what I am going to do, I am going to change the MAC address of this router. So first of all, the IP address is 1.1.2. So manually, I am going to define IP address 1.1.1.2 along with the subnet mask. No shutdown and then after MAC hyphen address. So MAC hyphen address, let's say MAC address 1234, 1234 and 1234. 
so what happen if we sending data after changing the mic address to the to the default gateway it going to be sent appropriately without any problem as we can see so let me send it again because by default your dscp snooping not going to prevent any kind of arp inspection we need to enable arp inspection on switches using this command so the command will be going to run on globally configure terminal ip arp inspection for vlan number 1 so once we will once we enable arp inspection let me do it again so default let's say default interface v0/0 and then interface v0/0 v0/0 ip address get from the dscp and no shut down so let me hop over to the topology so i uh, shut down this interface and bring it up and also going to keep mac address default which is burn in mac address so we can also see right there do so ip dscp snooping and then after binding binding database these are the mac address which has corresponding ip address so let's say in this time again i'm going to change the mac address along with ip address so this time ip address is 1.1.1.4 so let's say ip address 1.1.4 using 255 255 you can use the other ip address as well but in my case i'm going to use same one so let's say in this time mac hyphen address 1234 again 1234 1 2 3 and let's say zero and what happen if we sending data to the uh, default gateway it going to prevent because of we enable dynamic arp inspection so it going to deny snooping so as we can see we are not able to get reply back from the gateway so basically you have to come with the appropriate mac address as well as ip address whatever database i do have or whatever database snooping device do have so as we can see do so ip dhcp and then snooping binding so currently i have a such information but your mac address is 12341231230 which is incorrect because of that i am not uh, i am not going to forward any arp packet which is belong to this interface so basically we also need to make interface as a trusted interface where arp is going to allow for example interface f0/24 ip arp inspection and then after trust and i believe we can also go for limit as we have seen in previous video how many arps are allowed so the next thing is which we need to know ip source guard so ip source guard basically used to prevent snooping excuse me spoofing of ip address it used dscp snooping database to validate validate mac address along with the associated ip address and you can combine using port security as well so the difference between ip source guard and ip uh, dynamic arp inspection is both use dscp snooping feature like dynamic arp inspection against arp spoofing where ip source guard protect against ip spoofing so the command is uh, straight forward uh, but we need to enable on interfaces rather than globally so let's say interface range f0/1223 and ip verify source ip verify source 
you can combine this thing using port security because in port security they have already learned these MAC addresses so make sure if you have a MAC address A your IP address should be whatever is assigned by the DSCP it is not assigned by you so we can combine it using port security because port security also keep the current MAC addresses which is belong to this interface in my case I'm not going to do uh, I'm not going to use port security for now as well as I'm not going to use uh, ARP ACL because it may take more time than usual uh, usual my video ARP so in this section we uh, so far we have discussed dynamic ARP inspection IP source guard 